for joining us tonight for your five news at six. I'm Erica Thomas. First day of school all wrapped up for kids across Arkansas. School leaders have spent months preparing for this day. Five News reporter Zoe Henry joins us live with a look at how it went for kids as they get ready for day two. Zoe. Erica, parents and students were elated to be back in the classroom today, but the mask mandate debate still rings on. It was the first day of school. Correct, and that's, it, I mean, it, it's a fluid situation. Of course, we're hoping that the mask mandate can stay in place for as, as long as possible for the semester because we know based on last year, it works. We were able to get through the entire school year without one school having to pivot or close due to COVID, and the mask played a huge part in that. Even though Fayetteville schools moved to require masks last week, there are parents who are still against it. Oh. My son hasn't worn a mask the entire pandemic, um, so having to tell him that he has to now wear one in order to get an education was frustrating. I mean, he understood. He was like, whatever, I want to make friends. For other parents, it was less about the masks and more about cherishing the big day. First year, big day. He big walked day. in like a champ yeah. and the rest was history. Yep, yep. Good stuff. Wow. Yep. So really overall, he, li he literally different. said, Mom, can I go inside now? We were taking too many pictures. <laughs> but while cherishing the moment, some parents were confident that their teachers will protect their students. I haven't really thought about it. If I'm being honest, I just I trust that the teachers are going to make sure that he's being safe and that he's wearing the masks like he's supposed to. And because um, I know that they have his best interest and I know that his teacher has a four year old as well. And so She's very first-hand practiced on how to get your four-year-old to, <laughs> to adhere to, you know, guidelines like that because it's not just for him, it's for the other kids and other parents. I also sp spoke with parents who fully trust their students to mask up and protect others in their classroom. I'm live in Fayetteville covering news where you live. Zoe Henry, 5 News. All right, Zoe, thanks.